Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're learning about using the negative rule of exponents. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. Okay, so when I see negative rule with exponents, we know sometimes we have seen negative exponents, so obviously there must be some special case that involves negative ex exponents. So let's simplify something. We have h to the third power over h to the fifth power, okay? Now, if you remember our quotient rule, we said the m value had to be greater than the n value, okay? m being the exponent in the numerator and n the exponent in the denominator. But here we have an m value that's less than the n value. 3 is less than 5, okay? So what can we really do here, okay? The difference, m minus n, is negative, so we can rule the net, use the negative rule of exponents here, okay? So what do we see? Let's break this down. So h to the third we know is h times h times h, and h to the fifth is h times h times h times h times h, okay? And so what we have is, well, the h's cancel, and we're left with one over just two h's, so that's h squared, okay? Now, if we used the quotient rule, right, we would have said that it was okay, well, subtracting h to the three minus five power here, correct, uh, from, from, from there, and that's h to the negative two power. So one thing that we see here is one over h squared is equal to h to the negative two. And there we have our rule, our, our cool thing here that we can use. So one thing it says, uh, the negative rule of exponents, for any non-zero real number a and natural number n, the negative rule of exponents states that a to the negative n is equal to one over a to the n. And there is our rule, okay? So let's go through some examples here with it. A, we have theta to the third power over theta to the tenth power, okay? So now let's use the quotient rule. We know we subtract the exponents, so we have theta to the three minus 10, which is equal to, well, three minus 10 is seven, so we have theta or negative seven to the negative seven power. And our negative rule of exponents says that that's just equal to one over theta to the positive seven power. And one thing you'll find in mathematics is we don't like negative exponents. So that's why we have it there. And so our answer is just one over theta to the seventh power. Let's try B, B here. We have, if I can zoom in a little bit here, z squared times z over z to the fourth power, okay? Well, one thing we know is that this z right here is really z to the first power. So now we have z squared times z to the first. Let's deal with that numerator. We add the exponents, product rule. z to the two plus one power over z to the fourth power. 2 plus 1 is 3, z to the third power over z to the fourth power, and then quotient rule, let's subtract. z to the 3 minus 4 power, which is z to the negative 1 power, right, which our negative rule of exponents says that's 1 over z to the first power, and we don't really write that, so we just leave it as 1 over z. Not too bad. We have c here, okay? And c is a negative 5t to the third power to the fourth power over negative 5t to the third power to the eighth power, okay? Now remember our base here. Our base is this whole uh, part that's negative 5t to the third, okay? So really we're gonna apply the quotient rule with that being our base. We subtract the exponents. And if I can slide it down a little here, it's a negative 5t to the third power to the, subtract the exponents, 4 minus 8 power. 
Okay. Now 4 minus 8 is a negative 4, so we have a negative 5t to the third power to the negative 4 power, which again, negative rule of exponents brings that back down to the denominator, and we have 1 over a negative 5t to the third power all to the positive fourth power. And there we have our answer. Okay. So now we went through three examples here that explain uh, using the negative rule of exponents here. So if this was helpful, uh, please again like and comment down below and subscribe to our channel so we can keep making videos like this. And always, thanks for watching. Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com